Today I'm going to cover seat belt location and seat belt hardware as well as seat track orientation for a second gen F body. Now these belts and these tracks came out of a 77 Trans Am. So these are the receivers, well not the receivers, the retractors for the uh, front bucket seats. These are the little bolts that hold the receipt or the damn the retractors to the roof if you're not using factory bolts on these things be careful on your length because if they're too long they're gonna punch tits in the roof of your car now on the other end of them the receiver that goes on the drive shaft tunnel is a t50 torx bolt that has about a three quarter inch long shoulder on it and the end that goes along the sill plate is another T50 Torx bolt with no shoulder. It's about an inch and a half long. Now this one, shoot, what side would that be? This one would be driver's side. This sits on the rocker like that. That end goes in the drive shaft tunnel. And then this one sits on the passenger rocker in that kind of orientation. Now back seats. So the receiver for the back seat uses another short T50 Torx bolt as well as the retractor. If you look at it like this, I guess it's mounted in the car like that. That one goes on the passenger side by the wheel well and that one goes on the driver's side and then these as well go in the drive shaft tunnel now seat tracks they look a lot alike they're all different this is the passenger side right hand as you're sitting in it it's got the lever on it the left hand side of the passenger side track is not and this is the orientation that it's that they'd sit in the car if you're looking at them from the front so the passenger side left hand track has the bolt holes that go on the outside of the rail opposite for the driver's side um this is the driver's side right track bolt holes on the outside of the rail and then the left hand track has the arm on it have any other questions drop them down in the comments i'll try to answer as best as i can